Hey guys, Key here from Kegland, talking about our new G20.1, because we've just made some upgrades on this little bad boy, and I'm gonna take you through the upgrades. When you look at the back of the machine, you can see the controller on the back is exactly the same. So this little controller is the one that controls the temperature of the glycol inside the tank. So when you lift the lid up, you fill this guy with glycol. I mean, you could fill it with just water if you wanted to, but that means you can't go sub-zero. But if you guys wanna operate this at usually around about negative one, then you'll set the tank at negative one, you need some glycol in there. So you just set that temperature on the back and away you go. The front is where most of the changes have occurred. Now most of you guys are gonna use one of these units for chilling down a fermenter, let's say. This particular type of unit is powerful enough to chill, you know, fermenters anywhere from around about, you know, 50 litres up to say, you know, 200 litres. So it's good for home brewers, craft brewers, and small microbrewery operations. On the front of the display here, you can see two integrated controllers, and this is where we've made a bit of effort to make a custom-made controller for this particular application. So it's got function settings in here where you can adjust hysteresis and stuff like that, but it's also on the back got a heating relay, and that's where it's different to the previous model, which only did cooling. So this particular controller, when you flip it up here and you take the control panel, I've already undone the screws for this bit, um, you can see the back of the PCB here will allow you to have uh, another cable which you can plug into the blade connectors. So that is so you can plug in a heating device and this controller can control a heating and a cooling device at the same time. Previously what you had to do was do cooling with this and get a separate temperature control box or something else which will control the heating device and obviously that adds a bit of problem because then you have to set the temperature on two different controllers and obviously, you know, if the hysteresis is different or something like that, you can end up with heating and cooling at the same time being really inefficient. So it's all now controlled with one controller. You can buy an expander kit. So instead of just doing two fermenters, let's say, you can actually add in more pumps and more controllers so you can do even three or four fermenters out of the one chiller. Now you would have noticed on the older machines, we had a little side you know, cap here where you could undo this half inch cap and then attach a hose to have an external pump or if you wanted to drain the tank out, for instance. Now what we've done is we've put these duo type fittings on the front, which makes it a little bit easier for you guys to interface with because you can just pop the hose out, pop another one in. And we've also used those same duo type fittings to put in our Teflon sight glass. So this enables you to see how much glycol you've got in the tank. Obviously before you were totally blind in how much glycol you had in there. So when you were filling it up, you weren't sure of your concentrations, you can actually use the sight glass to do that. And the other thing you can do is just keep making sure that your pumps are always submerged. Some people, if they are connecting or disconnecting the hose a lot of the time, each time they do that might lose a bit of glycol. They didn't know how much was left in there. It's a bit hard to check. Now it's really easy. So if you wanna connect the hose there, it's as easy as removing the uh, bungs. So these bungs come included with the set and you can put a hose in there to an external pump, or if you're not using it, just drop that bung straight in there like so. That pretty much wraps it up for this video. A lot of you guys in the past may have bought one of our G40 Ice Master chillers, and they're a great commercial unit, but now you have a really compact solution which has heating and cooling options here. But it's also similarly powerful and much more compact and definitely more quiet than the G40s as well. So this is a great unit for guys who are at home. It's uh, you know, quiet enough that you can put it you know, in your garage and not gonna make a noisy hum in the background with the fans you know, vibrating all the time. So you know, I think it's a great option for you guys at home and probably one of the best glycol chillers for domestic use you can find out there in the market. Anyway, see you guys next time. If you want to hear about any other cool new stuff that's coming out, definitely subscribe. Bottom right hand corner, do it now. The other thing is join our Facebook group. We've got an active community of guys just like yourself sharing tips and tricks on how to brew. So get on there, join the group and subscribe now. See you next time. Bye.